Hello folks. So I finally got it outside. My EQ6 arm out. My wide field setup. I am ready to go. Um, I've tested out all of the components. Um, all of the software is configured the way I think it should be. Um, I am as prepared as I possibly can be. I can't think of anything else to check beforehand. So my, my game plan is going to start off with first I'm going to do the pole master, then I'm going to focus my imaging camera, then I'm going to focus my guide camera, and then I'm going to plate solve and we'll see how it all works. Uh, I'm not going to control it from inside the house tonight. I want to be outside because I anticipate problems and I want to be on the front line this first night because um, I'm, I'm sure there's something I didn't think of. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep my fingers crossed. See you later. Okay, I am outside and it's getting close to midnight. Um, it took about, I'd say, an hour for me to iron out all the kinks, but I did it. And the first problem I ran into was um, I couldn't focus my guide camera, and that's because I had too many extension tubes in between the telescope and the camera. I didn't need any extension tubes, actually. My main rig has two, but... Um, this, this setup doesn't need any, so I finally figured that out. That took a while for me to figure out. And um, let's see. The, the next problem I ran into was uh, guiding. Let's take a look at guiding right now. Guiding is uh, 1.04. You know, I'm bumping around. I'm moving around too much, and I think I'm shaking the ground underneath it. Let's just start this over. But uh, guiding was going nuts, and that's because I forgot to recalibrate um, the the setup here. I, I forgot to recalibrate PAC2. I always have recalibrate turned off, but um, obviously for a, a new setup like this, I was supposed to recalibrate. Guiding was about uh, in the 0 0.6, 0 0.7 range earlier. So that, right now it's about 0.81, and I probably don't have these settings right here the way they should be. I got to look at my other configuration. And, uh, but I, I can live with this guiding for now because my image scale is pretty high anyway with this setup. And I'm using EQ Mod. EQ Mod seems to be uh, doing its job. Um, I was able to play it solve, except I had to go into a, a blind failover. I'm not sure why the initial play it solve failed. So um, I, I don't know why, but as long as I, I can play it solve with the blind failover, uh, it worked. And that's exactly. Um, what I would have expected the way I framed it in the Framing and Mosaic Wizard. And this is my first time out with the Optolong HA filter. And I, to me, the, a single sub, four-minute exposure looks absolutely amazing. It's, uh, the nebulosity came in stronger than I thought it would. So for now, I'm giving a thumbs up for the, the Optolong filter <laughs> for one sub. This is spectacular. So I'm really happy. I, I got this done on the first the first night out, and I did what I wanted to do. I think I'm going to pack this up now because I'm outside, and uh, I think on uh, the next night out, um, I'll be doing this from inside the house, and I'll go all night. So that's all I got, folks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.